Oh, hold on. Pars pushing the IFB right along the ledge, and that's going to be an insurgent whole RPG team if they just look a little to their right. Oh, no! <laughs> 25 mil right through the face. RPG didn't even stand a chance. And now they're going to try to get around that tire fire. Tire fire don't matter. RPG might also not matter, and they are just full steam ahead onto the objective. A second RPG. Oh, that one's going to matter. That went right through the engine block. Pars is engine, and now you're in the position where you just need to do as much damage as you can before you go down. Hey guys, Moidog here, and today we've got another episode of Eye in the Sky, where we take a look at a game of squad from the top down, and in this one, we have the Turkish land forces up against insurgents on Kohat. Yes, this is the brand new faction coming to squad, and at the moment, this is unreleased. This was actually during the last playtest from this past weekend, where only a couple servers were actually populated, but I played not just this Eye in the Sky top-down gameplay, but also some first-person perspective, and I've got to say, the Turkish faction looks great. It feels great, it's fun to play, and it's very, very different from other factions, so I think you guys are going to love it. Whenever this does get released, I will let you guys know and have the full breakdown for the faction, including all the kits, all the weapons, everything you need to know, but until then, sit back, relax, and enjoy some Eye in the Sky gaming. I do want to say a quick thanks to Expat's gaming community for allowing me to get admin cam perms and view this on their server during the playtest. Much appreciated, guys. The games were awesome. If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe for more, and drop me a comment below with the map, game mode, or faction you'd like to see in the next one. And don't forget to check out the live streams over at twitch.tv slash moidog or here on YouTube where I stream throughout the week. But that's it for me. Enjoy the video. Peace. All right. Eye in the sky. This is Kohat v Invasion V5, and we are zooming on over to where the action is because I just got admin perms on this server uh, because this is a playtest. This is a Turkish Land Forces playtest, and hopefully we're able to... Uh, we're about to see the MSR, so we should be good to go. 30 seconds till it kicks off. We have a bunch of the new Lodgy vehicles, the BMC 185s, uh, three of the Cobra uh, two of them had the MG, uh, one with the remote weapon system, one with the regular open top, and then a 50 cal open top. The PARS-3, uh, that's their APC IFV type thing. You'll see it here in a second. It's very, very boxy. Kind of comparable to a Striker uh, BTR hybrid type feel. Uh, and here we go, just in time. Woo! Thought we are going to miss it for a second. But the, the official Turkish rollout for Invasion V5, and gonna take a quick look at the map to make sure I don't miss an, miss an ambush, and then here we go. It's gonna be uh, Hangu up to Nazrat proper, then to Malakabad, Lower Madzai, Sarazai upper, and do they have a tank? No, they do get a helicopter, and then the ACV-15, which is uh, another um, IFV uh, for the Turks. I just played a, a bit of uh, the infantry myself, was trying to check out the Gendarme, kit which is like a new almost raider kit and hold on we got insurgents right in the middle of the road and mg3s open up N now you have uh turkish vehicles oh man they uh, trade some paint and at smacks one a mine hits another one it is all going sideways for the turks rpgs flying left right and center and you that armored car took another right as it went off the road hanging a left thankfully all infantry are up inside looks like no one's played out across uh, the pavement just yet another ifb running right in and he's spraying tossing smoke and he is going in guns blazing they are charging right into the objective and infantry getting torn to shreds on top of that mosque school i don't know either one definitely not an engagement area but hey there's no geneva convention in squad and let's see if they have they do infantry are dismounting here and it's just one two oh he gets run over <laughs> what a rollout and infantry are all over we're going to turn this on so you can see pardon the quick camera moving a little bit Horin moving up with cruels and they are running almost right over judges judges in the field Looks like he was able to get an RPG off earlier. 
and popping more smokes, uh, smoke so he can get on out of there without... Uh, I think the Turks are going to lose one vehicle. Yep, they did lose that armored car that got hit by an RPG and ran over a mine. So there you go. Uh, infantry all over the south side. I think another vehicle just popped. Uh, trying to figure out exactly what it is. Uh, but Globemaster, Ruxpin, infantry are just all over right now. Ooh, IED. I'm not quite sure exactly what that target was. Might have been on a bike, so it just kind of... Oh, hold on a second. Quick camera movement again, because we have a hat kit. And I think he just got blasted. He did, uh, Recon Vaughn. Uh, thought he was sneaky. He was very not sneaky. There is a lot going on to the start of this game already. And Insurgents trying to hold on to this... Uh, we'll turn on the capture area. You see the dome here. This is the capture area for the Turks. This is, they have to get inside here. But this western, or I guess, uh, south, southwestern side is at least well defended with infantry. Turkish trying to, Turkish infantry trying to push on over as well. Ishmael trying to get the high ground. And he has, is, what is that, the, I'm actually blanking on that, uh, the weapon they have. It's almost like a PKP. What is it, KVT or something? They're a heavy machine, or a medium machine gun, rather. Laying into that compound. Infantry coming into support as well. And they do need to be careful because insurgents are just around the corner. There's Leffy. And dead X dead. Just off his flank. Very surprising they haven't tried to move yet. And infantry are just getting picked off. If they're getting on top of this defensive point, they're just getting absolutely shredded by machine gun 50 cal. Various rounds of auto cannon. I mean, it is not a, a good place to just poke your head out and look out the window at the moment. Dying kitten. Infantry up in the forward bushes, trying to prevent them to push. Turks need to get a little bit closer, and they can overrun this hab and start just slowly whittling down the insurgents. They're charging for Dying Kitten in the bushes. I don't think anybody saw him. They don't. He's being patient. Holding. Holding. Bipod out. Oh, my goodness. The patience. Are you getting engaged or something? And he is still waiting, still grenade, waiting. He's going to go for the... Oh, grenade out the top from the Turk. And he knocks out one, two, three, go down. Dying Kitten finally knocks out Arminator. And he might have gotten himself... Oh, oh, grenade knocks him out. And Dying Kitten, patience, uh, I, I would say paid off. But he did lose a couple buddies out in that hab. MG smacks the insurgent running right out the compound. And now who we got Ismail Did we kill any armor yet, command? trying to push in and around. This is very, about to be very close quarters fighting here. And what better than a giant machine gun for close quarters fighting? <laughs> okay, here we go. Machi oh, machine gunning is machine. Oh, no. <laughs> We're about to have the duel of the close quarters machine gun. And instead... He gets picked off by a marksman. Well, defense is holding strong. 147 tickets to, what, seven, 940, 945. Woo, they got, they started off with a thousand tickets, the insurgents. And I don't know if they have a tank later in. They do not. They have a couple BMPs and some SPGs. IFV. Rolling in. This is that, uh, I believe, a PARS. Yeah, with that 50 cal on top. Remote weapon system. Not unlike the American Striker. And infantry are continuing to try to push this school slash mosque. Enemy rocket truck. And I, I believe the way the insurgents have this set up is actually really well. So you have a handful of infantry up on this uh, eastern hillside. You can see uh, Sunsdal and Parison just in front of us on various elevations. 
And as the infantry for the Turkish, they're trying to move in. They have to expose themselves on top of this cliffside and they are just getting picked off. So smoke screen a little too late, but we might have a, this is exactly what you need. A nice little flank here, uh, squad 13 with that flank and taking a look to see if we have any vehicles just yet coming in for the insurgents. Uh, I see a couple down south, no BMPs just yet. Insurgents trying to now push a, this, I, I believe this was a helicopter dropped fob. So very forward position, pretty much behind the insurgent lines. Goes to toss a grenade. Did he get killed by a grenade himself? No, his grenade is short. Turn on the outlines. And M14, I think he just fell to his death. Oh no, he tumbles down the hillside. Turks uh, man, enemies on are just getting no, stuck in bomb. it. Everywhere uh, they try to push out from, the insurgents are just there. I don't even know if it's necessarily uh, the better coordination. They're just uh, maybe clumped up a bit better. Insurgents, they do have quite a lot of any, uh, a lot of friendly infantry dead on the point, but helicopter coming in, and this looks like it's going to be a nice hot supply drop. For this uh, behind-the-lines fob. Very dangerous, though. Insurgents do have anti-air emplacements and vehicles. Plenty of RPGs. And, man, they are just... Well, there you go. Dishka now opening up. He's going to have to try to get out of here. Bobbing and weaving. Following the river and just possibly... Oh, no, though. He might run himself right into... There's an enemy uh, insurgent position on the other side of this hill. Enemy in the mosque tower. Mosque tower. This is a great looking uh, helicopter though, huh? These Turkish vehicles, they look great. It's nice seeing something different. And oh my goodness. That, talk about danger close. That is a hell cannon. And I think the hell cannon... Well, no, it's actually uh, the IFV. So squad five over here, Punisher and Zynex. Man, do they have a good spot. They're just unloading onto this insurgent fob. And that hell cannon came in a little too close as well. And you can see all of the, the red bars. If you got an actual just red bar on your name. Oh, the explosions. Do they have a, is that a 40 mil? I believe it looks like a 40 mil GL they actually have on top of that. But look at all those bodies just stacked up inside of the compound. The IFVs right now for the Turks, just as I say that, looks like they got stuck up on a compound. Uh, but the IFVs are doing incredibly well. And I think that 40 mil, yes, it did. 40 mil, unbelievable. I think it actually knocked out the radio just a bit. Insurgents have to get this radio up. That high explosive grenade launcher. Just splashing the radio enough to bring it down a stage and nobody can spawn in. Uh, Maestro trying to dig it up. Oh, no, he can't. He's a squad leader. He has no shovel. Butthead. <laughs> butthead? Uh, butthead takes a shot, but they have no insurgent shovels. And Maestro is going to come out. He, <laughs> he runs out. Full autos, butthead. But gets tagged himself, and what was that ATGM? Is there a BMP? I don't know. I'm trying to look at something that would have killed that. I don't, uh, I actually have no idea where that came from. We need to some ammunition because some guy are not a little bit more than we want to. I am not seeing any... Any actual AT that would have killed that. It sounded like an ATGM came in. Could have very well just been a hat kit. But insurgents are slowly but surely falling apart on the objective. No one loves me in back shots of miss... Back shots or mission... Really? Come on, guys. Why do you, why do you name yourselves these things? 
Well, they're the only ones left on the objective. A handful of in infantry, Turkish infantry, push it into the hab. Back shots is bandaging. He's going to get shot. Arminator can't get through the, the door. He doesn't realize there's enemy right next to him, and there he goes. Does finally go down, and I think that is it. Should be being captured, and it is. Hangu is now going down. Turks are securing it. Not a lot of command comms at the moment. We're not shooting in front of vehicles. Thank you. Uh, not you, your guy. Uh, 40 the, mil popping. Well, it's all over the objective, but not a single insurgent in sight. The Turkish infantry, uh, they definitely got stuck up on this objective, but that those uh, PARS, uh, the PARS, yeah, it does have a Mark 19. PARS 3, Mark 19. Uh, man, that just tore open that fob. A lot of the infantry just spill on in, and there you go. Insurgents now trying to run in from this hab out west of the objective. And what a grenade! <laughs> Hot Cheeto and Mr. Chris split into pieces grenade lands perfectly and leffy coming up with the flank goes full auto oh no rhino goes down and insurgents need to make a quick push in order to get back on the objective helicopter once again hovering over the objective they got lit up last time and looks like he's going to try to push his luck and rockets now landing on the objective Right in the background, you can see impacting right where infantry are trying to capture this objective. And what a shot! RPG smacks the side of the helicopter. Turkish pilot has to turn around and get on out of there. No longer able to provide air support, and he just needs to go before that second RPG slams into the side. Chaotic scenes on Hangu as every last bit of ordnance that the insurgents have is just being thrown at it. And it sounds like we also have some, I was gonna say, it sounds like some artillery, but might've just been a, a couple mortars or something going off as well. Insurgents, I believe they're trying to dig down their own fob at the moment. So this is the insurgent position. They are digging down the radio. So they, they want to prevent the 20 tickets in the grand scheme of things. Losing a thousand tickets. I'm not saying it's impossible, but that would be very surprising. Uh, but they are doing the reasonable thing. The insurgents, they're removing this fob, not just for the tickets, but it's very important as you start getting pushed back to different objective areas. Uh, you want to prevent your blueberries or your random players spawning in in places that really are not helpful. So Hangu right now, it's what, 70% cap, 60% cap, something like that. We'll be capped for the next 20 seconds or so. There's really nothing they can do to stop that cap. So you remove the spawn point, you fall back, and that way right now, if you want to play the game as insurgent, you have to either spawn at main, which some people might do if you have a vehicle, or you'll spawn on the defensive point. So insurgents uh, just... Oh, hold on a second. How are they not dead yet? There you go. <laughs> the pars with that 25 mil. Nice little ambush. Lodgy stood no chance. Um, but there you go. Insurgent position now on Nasrat. But that is not going to prevent, I think, Rocket still trying to be sent down on... Uh, Hangu still get some kills. 176 tickets. So they start with 200, uh, the Turks. So they did lose 130 tickets or so on that attack. So very, very costly. You try not to lose more than 100 tickets uh, each cap in Invasion. That's a good rule of thumb when it starts getting... Oh, hold on. Pars pushing the IFV right along the ledge. And that's going to be an insurgent whole RPG team if they just look a little to their right. Oh, no! <laughs> 25 mil right through the face. RPG didn't even stand a chance. And now they're going to try to get around that tire fire. Tire fire don't matter. RPG might also not matter, and they are just 
full steam ahead onto the objective. A second RPG. Oh, that one's going to matter. That went right through the engine block. Pars is engine, and now you're in the position where you just need to do as much damage as you can before you go down a second and third RPGs. Now in, another Lodgy is down, and... Well, here you go. Fire is just one RPG shot away. Another vehicle goes down. And this par says, hey, if I'm going down, I'm taking you guys with me. Oh, wait, Crewman is actually he's trying to do it. No, he's swapping to an infantry kit. This is, inc this is very, very clever play. So they understand that they're just dead in the water. Crewman says, if I stay Crewman, I'm going to be pretty much helpless. He swaps to an infantry kit. As IFEs, you're allowed to swap to any uh, any kid in game just by interacting with them. So now he's going to try to push out and give his uh, IFE a little bit of space. And oh, the SPG! SPG misses it! Unbelievable! The smoke is about to clear and the SPG fires over. RPGs miss! Insurgents have a dead in the water pars and they can't just hit the target! RPG. Oh, you got to look off to your left. Oh, he's swapping to a kit too. No, he's just bailing. RPG. Oh my goodness. What a run from the PARS crew. <laughs> a little double tap for good measure. Hey, you never know. What a push. I mean... 155 tickets. They are going to lose those 10 tickets. And, well, 12 really for the two tickets that themselves are worth, as well as the, the 10 that the IFV is worth. They did kill, uh, I want to say, that rocket, uh, that rocket truck uh, and at least one Lodgy. So I, I don't necessarily know if it was worth it. If you want to go straight ticket trade, it comes out about even but you're really going to be hurting yourselves as fun as that is hey no let, let's let's be real for a second that is fun to do fun to watch hell yeah uh but like if you think about it for just a second if you're a little bit more patient uh, you can move up with zippo here and be uh, a, a hey, sneaky snake <laughs> what in the world turkey hey, what are you feeding your soldiers what's <laughs> I not even going to try to pretend I understand. It's like a half crouch crawl. Um, the, the player model is stuck in the crawling position, but you can see the hitbox of the player. He's actually, st <laughs> it's like he's, he's in the, uh, almost the croucher standing position. So there you go. Um, but yeah, if, if that IFB had, had just waited for one more second, they would have been able to push with this infantry and insurgent infantry is going to run into Turkish infantry. And this is right when you want that IFB superior firepower SKS lining up a shot. Is he going to get it? And he does SKS. Oh no. He only tags once. Oh, he played possum. Oh, and the <laughs> what a shot. A little red mist. That's what happens when you stand up on the top of a mountain. Easy to see your silhouette and insurgents are just pouring over this position. You can see, man, they got everything just on the other side. And they are going to be surrounded here. This is where you want your IFV insurgents on the left. They're down low. Thunder poo. Thunder poo. <laughs> Uh, Thunder Poo goes down. Squitters pushing up to the compound. Did you guys know Squitters is now an OWI employee? From, like, a memer who made an entire video on an emu war to being hired by OWI. If that isn't a glow up, I don't know what is. <laughs> Squitters pushing in. Well, let's see. Do devs play their game? Squitters turns the corner and what a wipe! Clears out the compound and yes they do! 
maybe that's why they hired him. Just because they know that he plays the game and, and we all know that devs don't play their games. So if you hire somebody who already plays it, then, you know, <laughs> it's a safe bet. Squitters. Oh, what a shot. And what does he have? I want to say he has... Oh, he has the one piece... Oh, an ACOG, actually, I think, on top of that. I think he has a... It, it looks almost like an M150. That doesn't make any sense because it's the AK. So I'm guessing it's the one piece 78 optic. He misses the first shot, misses the second, nails the third. And he is on a five-player kill streak as explosions rain all down around him. And he's about to see this Lachi and the radio. Oh, does he see it? He's about to say peekaboo to the Lodgy. There's a BMP here. Couple shots into it, but unable to get the driver or passenger. And he might try to take a second to... No, he doesn't care anymore. Gonna let that Lodgy go. Lodgy's gonna head on out. And trying to get his sixth kill here. That's David Dak, and it is David Daco number six. Squitters is on a roll and he might see his seventh. Oh, unlucky. Oh, no. And I think these are friendly rockets. I'm not seeing the uh, the TK. So maybe not. But man, what a run. Squitters with a seven piece. As insurgents continue... <laughs> what a shot. I think that was a Mosin, actually. Uh, insurgents are storming the hill up here. And Nazrat proper... We, you can see we're southeast of Nazrat proper. Insurgents are just overrunning the position. Turkish troops are just backed up. You can see they're even pulling out their pistols trying to defend. Pistol versus AK. That's not going to work. GL. Yo, he has, he has a, a handheld... Grenade launcher and no, you need an arming distance. Grenades are not just going to explode two feet in front of you. Hab is now overrun. Tosses a grenade. You need to be careful. And grenade goes off and the position is wiped. Insurgents take the hill. And this might be catastrophic for the Turks. That is 98 tickets to 772 in Nando might just make a game saving play here he is digging down the radio and the insurgents are going to be digging down this hab because they know it's overrun but hold on a second oh they don't see him they don't hear it sanma nando taking his time does he want to take a shot no he goes back to his shovel duties oh no just focus up on the shovel man you could be done by now. Oh no, he's gonna put his rifle away. Yo, Tan, what happened to your life? Oh, it might be okay. Insurgents now pushing over the hill. Nando is running out of time. He needs to get this radio down. Globemaster doesn't see it. Oh, it's right in front of him. This needs to look a little left and you can see it. Even if we turn the, the outlines off, you can still see this. And, oh no, insurgents are running to it. Nando's almost out of time. It's Queeblo. Queeblo runs right past Nando. They don't realize they're, they didn't realize they're enemy. Oh no, Nando with the save. He pulls it off. Queeblo thought he was friendly. Thought a friendly insurgent player was digging down the radio, but it was Dando with the save. Unbelievable, 20 tickets saved and well, we'll have to see if that come back that comes back and haunts the insurgents because you now have a big push out west from the Turks. Just love those types of plays. And hold on a second. Talking about plays I love. We got a helicopter landing in the field and they are starting to take some AA fire. You need to get out quick. That AA was just splashing and insurgents are not sure if they want to finish off the 
the helicopter just yet. Maybe just want to give him time to fly straight up, not make him panic and make him an easier target. Oh, they have to repair. Yeah, helicopter has to repair. There and there one. is a BMP. One left, I think. On the ridge, and it looks like they might just be waiting. Helicopter pilot jumps back in. Looks like he's fully repped. Infantry leaving, and here we go. It is going to be hot. Insurgents right behind him. A fire also opening up, and it is slamming into the side of this helicopter. And he looks like he might be able to make. Oh no, he's not! Curse of the commentator! unbelievable nearly pulls it off and i almost think that that if he had just maybe gone a little bit lower i'm trying to figure out where exactly this aa vehicle is oh aa it's person way on the southwest side just holding this angle and yeah maybe just a little bit further you can see him right here a little bit uh lower and he would have been out of visibility and there you go BMP now moving up. And let's I want to take a look at the map real quick. So the Turkish, if you're not too familiar on their kits, they actually do not have any heavy anti-tank kit. They only have a couple, uh, or they have a lot of light anti-tank kits. So IFVs will really need to be uh, the way that you kill these vehicles or ATGMs. They do get a Milan ATGM. They don't have the uh, the American toe or the Russian cornet. They do get that French German Milan. Rockets landing. And RPG into the back of crew LZ's armored car. And rockets are landing in an AA truck. A vehicle now able to actually target not a helicopter but a lightly armored car and there you go another one pops and what are we looking at 59 tickets the 718 this is not looking like it's going to be turkey's day robin is the only turk on the point we're going to pop open this uh, capture zone area for you guys Oh, you got uh, Draco as well. So they can actually do some damage. Oh, goes to toss a grenade, underhands the grenade. And now going to vault on over. Close quarters combat. He doesn't check his left side. And that's what happens when you rush on in. Unfortunately, Draco just a little too impatient and Hono Rhino had run in as well earlier. So Turkish troops are down with 54 tickets in counting. BMP. Insurgent BMP1 is on the hill overlooking everything right now. And once again, they don't have much to deal with this, the Turks. Just some lightly armored... Uh, cars, some IFVs with, I mean, the 25 millimeter cannon can do some work, but man, that frag round just slamming into that fob. The Turks are just sitting ducks right here and he's just lobbing it. Oh man. Almost just disrespectful. And he might toss another one into that hab and he does. Oh, and it impacts inside infantry trying to squirt before another one pops out oh. <laughs> the bodies are flying oh they are just running every which way if they don't get hit by a bmp they get hit by insurgent infantry and there's another one just trying to scoot down the hill can he make it in time no he can't <laughs> oh no this is just Oh, he zigs and zags. Oh, now. Off to our left goes down, but behind the rock, I think he's still up. 
No, he isn't. Turks are just... It's like shooting fish in a barrel at the moment. Insurgents completely over on the position. Wait a second, there's still more inside. Oh no. Look at all the outlines. That's infantry, Turkish infantry all over. They've somehow pushed out and cleared out insurgent infantry. Only one left insurgent. I'm not sure what he shot at. BMP. Trying to reposition, getting a better way to shoot the infantry, and he might just see the radio as well. Infantry. Oh, he's not the target. He's going for the radio, and that's the smart play, to be honest. BMP will knock out this radio if he hits it. <laughs> oh, no. And, oh my goodness, there it is. Way down a town. He's actually getting shot from multiple angles. That pars way out in the hillside. I don't think the BMP sees it. He's looking all right. He's not seeing left. He's because he's sandwiched actually between two. BMP, the turret is facing backwards. No, not me. The other way. You can see right in the smoke, straight ahead, looping those rounds. The BMP, how are they not seeing this? Situational awareness, please. Ahead of you. In front. Oh, come on. <laughs> you have ATGMs as well. And I think there is an armored car shooting at him. And the RPG is going to hit him and infantry... Might get the last laugh here. They've been getting picked off. Oh, ATGM looks like they finally might have seen it. No, no, the BMP. Come on, he's right there. BMP is just continuing to sit, and that is about to be it for the BMP. Looping another round into the hab, but just helpless. I cannot believe nobody is letting this BMP know where the pars is that's shooting him. Oh, nice. Complete lack of situation awareness. Maybe fourth time is the charm. Still doesn't see where those rounds are coming in. Looks like he finally is lining it up. Send it. He might be swapping to Malyutka. He is. He mit oh, he hits it! Impact, and there it goes! Catastrophic explosion, and the pars goes down. Only about five minutes later, and that ends the game! What a way to end it! BMP1 should have been dead to rights, but there you go. Zero tickets, 656 for the insurgents, 214 kills for the Turks, 168 for the insurgents, 36 revives to 38. GG's.